And yes, yep, we are live right now, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Venezuela. <laughs> Welcome to the program. This is Mahdali, uh, live school at home edition. <laughs> Our topic is going to revolve around probability. Mm-hmm. And right now, the topic is experimental probability. Natatandaan niyo pa ba? <laughs> Paano sinabi ko? Natatandaan niyo pa ba? Yung lesson natin sa probability. Okay, mag-review tayo mga kababayan. Ang probability ay ang bilang ng chance na maaring mangyari ang isang bagay. You know, it is the number of favorable outcomes over the total number of outcomes. At pwede nating express ito as a fraction, as a decimal, and percentage. Pero ngayon, pag-uusapan muna natin at gagamit muna tayo ng fraction. Sobrang excited ako lalong-lalo na sa decimal and percentage. Oh, pag-aralan natin yan sa mga darating na panahon. Okay, let's have this certain example. How do you read this? Halimbawa or halimbawa? I'm just kidding. Halimbawa! <laughs> Magtotoss ako ng coin, no? At gusto kong makuha yung tails. Ito ang ating favorable outcome. Dati dalawa ang side ng coins, may dalawang possible results ang ating toss coin. Pwedeng oo, pwedeng hindi. Tulad ng feelings mo para sa kanya. May joke lang. Pwedeng heads, pwedeng tails. ba? Diba? Two sides of the coins. Kaya naman, two ang total number of outcomes. One over two. Tuwing tayo ay nagtotoss coin, alam natin na may one over two or one half chance na makuha natin ang either heads or tails. Ito ay dahil pantay yung bilang ng chances na meron tayo. May isang side para sa heads at may isang side din para sa tails. Pero kung sakasakaling pag pinlip mo yung coin at napunta sa gitna yan, i-video mo. I-video mo dahil one million views agad yan for sure. Well, probability ay ang bilang ng chance na mangyayari ang isang bagay. Um, ano naman ang experimental probability? Hmm. Experimental. Ano mang ginagawa sa isang experiment? Tama. Nag-experiment. Sinusubukan dito ang isang bagay. In this case, titingnan natin kung ilang beses lalabas ang isang outcome from a number of trials. Experimental probability, listen up, is the number of times an event occurred over the total number of trials. Can you repeat that with me? Experimental probability is the number of times an event occurred taas, over the total number of trials. Halimbawa, 20 times akong nagtoss ng isang coin. 20? <laughs> Venezuela! Okay, 20 times akong nagtoss ng isang coin. At sa 20 times na yun, ito yung naging result natin. Uh, ano? You got heads, tails, 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 heads, tails, 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 heads, tails, tails, heads, heads, tails, tails, tails. <laughs> Yan. Lagyan natin ang uh, result, tally, frequency, at probability. Okay? Hmm. Para mas madali, eh, gumamit tayo ng magandang table. Okay. Lagyan natin result. Tally, frequency, probability as row labels. Dahil apat na beses lumabas ang heads, maglalagay tayo dito ng apat na tally marks. Yung mga marks natin. Okay? Kung apat na beses lumabas yung heads, ilang beses naman lumabas yung tails? At kung bibilangin natin yan, 16 guys. Meron tayong 16 tally marks. ba? 5, isang bundle, tapos isang bundle, tapos may isang bundle, tapos may isa. Next! Ano yung frequency? Bibilangin natin kung ilan yung lines. Ito yung bilang ng paglabas ng isang value o total ng ating tally marks. Para sa heads, meron tayong 4. At para naman sa tails, meron tayong 16. O, oh, yan, maayos na yung data natin. At pwede na natin tignan ang experimental probability of getting either a head or a tail. Ano naman yung over, Kuya Robi? Para natin gagawin yun. Yun yung kung ilang beses mo ginawa yung experiment. Mula sa 20 times na pagkatos ng coin, 
four times mabas ang heads uh, or head. Dahil ang experimental probability ay number of occurrence over total number of trials, the experimental probability of getting heads is 4 over 20. Apat over 20. <laughs> At kapag ni lowest term natin yan, it's um, 1 over 5. 4 over 20 is also 1 over 5. At habang ang tails naman ay may experimental probability of 16 over 20, tapos ang lowest term niya ay 4 out of 5. Galing. Another example. Meron akong isang kahon na may... Sa may <laughs> meron akong isang kahon na may lamang uh, sampung bola. Dalawa dito, pula, lima ay asul, at tatlo ay dilaw. Mabunot ako ng isa at pagkatapos, eh, ibabalik ko rin to sa kahon. Sa sampung beses na pagbunot ko, limang beses akong nakakuha ng dilaw na bola. Hmm. Can you find the experimental probability of getting the yellow ball? Sige nga, ilista natin. Ilang beses na bunot ang dilaw na bola? Lima, di ba? Ilang beses na natin ginawa ang trataya ng bunot ng bola? Sampo. Dahil ang experimental probability ay number of times an event occurred over total number of trials, we get 5 over 10 or 1 half sa simplified form. The experimental probability of getting a yellow ball is 1 half. Sa mga nagtataka, akala ko ba bakit um, minention mo yung number of balls doon sa uh, total number of balls. Kuya Robby, sabi mo, tatlo ay dilaw, sampu yung bola sa loob. Hindi ba dapat 3 over 10? We're talking about experimental probability. Okay? Ibang, ibang klaseng um, fraction yung pinag-uusapan natin. At later on, ika-clarify po natin. I think, I think na master na ng ating mga kababayan, ng ating mga classmate, ang experimental probability. Kaya naman, it's time for Math the Lee. Quiz time. Sabi ng guwapo dito. Ay! <laughs> okay, ihandaan na na ang inyong mga sarili. Dahil ito na ang ating first question. True or false? When is it okay to be not okay? I'm just kidding. Okay. True or false? Experimental probability is the number of favorable outcomes over the total possible outcomes. 20 seconds to answer. Go. Oh, may time pa tayo. Um, I would like to invite everyone to go to my YouTube channel. Subscribe. Dahil malapit na po tayo. Mag 900,000. Konting, konting kembut na lang, guys. So, I suggest pumunta na po kayo dun. Yes. Diba? Actually, experimental probability is the number of favorable outcomes over the total possible outcomes. It's not that one. It is experimental probability is the number of times an event occurred over total number of trials. So again, um, yung nare-refer natin dun sa number of favorable outcomes over the total possible of outcomes, yun yung sinasabi natin sa yellow balls kanina na 3 over 10 versus dun sa experimental na naging 1 half. Tama? Let's go to the other question. Panahon para bumawi guys ha. Reminder, reminder lang, iba yung experimental probability doon sa probability lang na pinutukoy natin. Okay? Always keep that in mind. Next question. If I spun a wheel, whoa, spun. If I spun a wheel 15 times and landed on green 4 times, what is the experimental probability of landing on green? Is it A, 4 out of 15, B, 1 half, C, 3 over 6, or D, 4 over 5? 20 seconds, go. Experimental probability. Not just probability, you guys. Alam ko may sasagot ng something dyan. <laughs> oh nga pala, ang next na YouTube channel ko po. <laughs> ang next na YouTube content ko sa channel ay about doing spiel. So, I hope na makadaan po kayo doon. And time is up. 
Correct answer is letter A. For over 15, apat na beses lumitaw ang green sa wheel at ito ang ilalagay natin sa numerator. 15 naman yung bilang ng trials o pag-spin ng wheel kaya ito yung nasa denominator. Experimental probability is 4 over 15. Again, people have been saying um, dapat 1 over 4 kasi bisa yung green, apat yung kulay, it's, it's probability. <laughs> Yun yung kaibahan ng experimental probability at sa ating probability lang. Okay? Okay. Let's go to the other question. Now, this table shows the result of picking a card and then putting it back on the deck 18 times. What is our experimental probability of choosing a heart card? A, 1 over 18, B, 3 over 18, C, 5 over 18, or D, 6 over 18, 20 seconds ago. Hmm. Ayan, yeah, no? can see everything. Actually, binigay na nga yung denominator. Kasi, kung i-add mo lahat yan, 5 plus 4 is 9, plus 3 is 12, plus 6 is 18. Time is up. <laughs> correct answer is, correct answer is, letter C. It's 5 over 18. Basa sa ating table, heart cards were picked five times. Kaya naman, ito yung dapat na makita natin sa numerator. 18 naman, yung number of trials o pagbunot ng card. Kaya naman, ito yung nasa baba. So again, experimental probability is 5 over 18. Pero ang probability of getting a heart sa isang deck kung, kung ganyan, well, not deck, no? Kung apat yung cards, eh di, kung may isang heart, may isang diamond, may isang spade, may isang clover, 1 out of 4. That's a probability. Pero experimental probability, it's there already. It's 5 over 18. Okay? Last question na to, guys. Ba, daming sumagot. Daming humakabol. I love it. Last question. And this one is for 3 points. Makilig ng mabuti. Bakit gano'n ito ang aking tono? No? Hindi ko rin alam. Let's go. A box has one green, yellow, red, blue, and purple crayon. I drew one color and put it back on the box 15 times. If this is the result that I got, what is our experimental probability of getting blue? Dahil no challenge. I'll give you one minute to vote. Or begin. Ano ba? Begins? Begin. One. Begin. It's now. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. One minute. To go, Mo. Oh, okay. Um... Sa lahat po ng mga nagtatanong, ano ba yung YouTube channel ko, just look at um, Robbie Domingo official, and that's it. Oh, and, and um, abangan nyo kasi I will have a vlog about farm. Doon sa Pulilan, Bulacan. You know, when restrictions, actually restrictions are, are easing. I can go back to my hometown in Pulilan, Bulacan and... Uh, vlog about that one so it's gonna be interesting guys i promise okay 10 seconds five four three two and one the correct answer is three over 15 or one fifth simplified form O pwede natin ilagay ito sa table para mas madaling maitindihan, di ba? Yung data natin. At kung gagawa kayo ng, ng magandang table, na nakalaging color, tali, yung frequency, at ilalagay nyo na doon yung probability. Okay? And this is what you'll be getting. Sa blue, may frequency ka ng 3. Sa yellow, 4. Red, 3. Green, 3. Sa purple, 2. At ang ating denominator ay 
Ito lang, um, a quick reminder and uh, a pro tip, no? Para malaman ng denominator, ibabase mo lang sa total ng frequency mo. So, 3 plus 4 plus 3 plus 3 plus 2 will give you the denominator of 15. Alright? So, that's it. We get 3 over 15, one-fifth experimental probability of drawing a blue crayon is 1 over 5. Good job! Mumbigigil kami sa iyong tagandahan. Ngayong araw, eh, natutunan po natin na may dalawang paraan to compute probability. Nagagamit ito mula sa paggawa ng mga desisyon sa araw-araw hanggang sa pag-aayos ng data para sa mga iba't ibang pag-aaral natin. Kaling, ba? Kaya naman, mag-aaral kayo mabuti, guys. Balikan natin yung lessons for today. And to do that one, just have to go back to our channel, follow our official website and uh, social media accounts. And I would love to thank everyone dahil umabot na po tayo sa 10,000 mark dito. Galing! Alright, lahat namang classmate po natin. We'll see you next week for more fun math lessons. Dito lang sa Mathly Live School at Home Edition. At lagi niyong tatandaan, huwag na huwag kayo malatakot sa math. Okay? Dahil isip plus tiyaga equals Mathly. Ako po, si Kuya Robbie. I'll see you next week.